Hi everybody. I am on to talk about, um, I know this is off topic, but I will add the, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> Jesus, really? Um, I'm going to add this on to today. So today's Thursday. Um, uh, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you guys have noticed I would do reading and stuff like that, which there's like garbage like all over my desk from people just piling stuff. Give me a second. Let me just kind of pick this up a little bit so that I can get a fit in there. Oh my God, it's a fit. All right, let me put that over there. I need space here. I mean, it's crazy. Everybody uses my desk for their garbage. You know, and I can't get away from that. Look at, look at this crap. All right. So, yeah, I've straightened this desk about 500 times, and oh, it just won't stop. All right. So let's get on with this. Um, like I was saying, for those of you that have been with me for a long time, you guys know I've been doing reading. Well, I haven't done reading in, like, I think maybe a year or two. Um, and everybody knows I do the flower shop mystery series. So what I decided to do is, and I got help with this, um, since my libraries are closed, the libraries are closed right now because of the coronavirus, I want to go back into my reading because, you know, it gets boring, you know? Um, so I want to get back into my flower shop mystery series. So I can't order a book from the library. I, it's a hard time to find the books. So what I did was um, I looked around on Amazon and everybody knows it has known me for a long time. I have an eyesight problem where I need my books in big print, which it's hard to find. So what I did was um, I we have a teacher in the family and it's Joel's aunt. So I messed text her and I'm like, I got a question to ask you. And she was like, well, what's up? I go, I want to get back to my reading again, but I'm having a hard time finding the books. And she was telling me about audio, like, listen books. I'm like, no, I'd rather have the book in my hand where I can read it. Plus, when I read, you know, I feel more like I'm learning, you know, learning the words. Like, I've noticed, and tell me if you guys have noticed this too, um, which I probably won't get any comments. But with the books, when you read books, you feel like you're learning words more and more. And say you stop for a long period of time, you feel like that you are losing that knowledge that you have you were learning to read so let me know what you think with that so she, what she decided to do for me is I was telling her I said when I looked at Amazon for the original print book six dollars okay but I need large print for the large print books they are like 20 something dollars and it's not brand new it's used but I can't pay for a book for $27 that's going to be used. I'd rather pay $27 for a brand new one. And we don't have borders anymore, which I don't know why they got, they went bankruptcy. And I used to order books from there, brand new from there. I would call them and say, hey, I'm looking for a certain book. Can you order it for me? And I would come in and I would pay for it. That was back in the day when uh, I used to read Lizzie McGuire, her books. I was a big Lizzie McGuire fan. Um, I still love Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff, she's an awesome person. I still love her personally um i have her perfume i love her perfume and that stuff is hard to find she the perfume is with love that's even hard to find so um so yeah so his aunt ordered the books for me she ordered volume one which i'm gonna start reading these from the beginning again um which volume i got two of them here i got volume one and volume two of the collection the series she did show me a a, a website that i can go to to look for these books. Now I will link that website in the description box for though for, in the description box also because just in case you guys are looking for books to read, and they're not bad pricing either. Um, for the books, they could be two dollars, two dollars for the book, and like five dollars for shipping fee. You know, Harley. Stop licking. I hate that licking noise. It drives me nuts. So anyways, so I'll show you the books that she did give me. Volume 1, Volume 2, which I read them both, but I'm, I'm going to read them again. But 
I will tell you about each one. And as I, and I'm going to do this as a thing, I will, if you guys are interested in me, like, reading, say, the first chapter, not on here, I will read first chapter. If you guys are interested in me doing something special like that, where I can read a chapter, and then I'll make a video about the chapter, discuss what I think about that chapter, if you guys are interested in that, that's fine, I will do that. But I will do, but this ain't going to be going on for polishes on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I will put this on either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday. So that would give me something to, you know, talk about. But the first one is called, and this is all from Kate Collins. It's the Flower Shop Mystery Series. This is Mum's The Word. This is the first, 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 first volume book. And this is what it is. Um, it's a library used book. And it's in, I, I think it's in good condition. This is the one, because this other book came in first. This came in second. But this is Kate Collins. I, oh, I can't read the back part because they got a sticker on it. If I can get it off, maybe. Let's see if I can get it off without it. It's coming off good. It's coming off good. Perfect. I got it off. They stuck it right on the back of the words. So I got it off. It's like a barcode or something. Okay, so this is the book. Mum's the Word. It's a flower shop mystery series. And she did come out with a new book, too, to this series. So I was like, oh, wow, and I got more to read. So it got me more excited to read. Uh, this is... I'm going to read the back of it. I don't know if this is, like, dirty or just scratched. Oh, it's dirty. I gotta clean this. Yeah, I gotta clean this. I get some Lysol and clean it real good. Alright, it this says Law School Dropout Abby Knight is the proud new owner of her hometown flower shop. But Abby's life isn't the bed of roses. She was hoping it would be. She adored her job, but a new law low cost competitor is killing her pro profits and a black SUV just rammed her vintage Chevrolet uh, Cor Corvette in a hit and run Deter uh minded to track down the driver she accepted the help of of Husky ex cop Michael of uh, Michael Marco Salvier, but there's there's budding relationship in threatened when the trail turns deadly. Now Abby is caught in a triangle of me. Menscaping, phone calls, police, core pension, and murderous road rage. Uh, if she's not careful, she the next flower arrangement might be for her own funeral. Now, this, I'm sorry for the words... That's what I'm saying. The words in here, I couldn't figure out. I will sit there. If I can't understand a word, I'll sit there for like five minutes trying to figure it out. And if I can't, I'll ask my husband, what is this word to help me? But I'm on camera right now. So that's what the back looks like. It is a little dirty, so I have to clean it up. Don't mind my nail. I'll explain later. Um, but this is going to be interesting. I, I already read this book. And as I was reading it, I knew what was going on. But I can't really remember some parts. So this book, it might fly by because I know it. Um, so this is the one book. The second book is Dearly Depotted by Kate Collins. And this is actually, when I first started with the series, this is actually the first book I actually started reading. And that's what got me interested in it. Um, so I'm glad I have this book. I'm glad I can own it. I'd rather read it from first volume to next to next to next. So after I get in, after I'm done reading um, Mum's the Word, and this book's done, I'm going to start looking for the next third book of this. Maybe fourth. Maybe a couple. Because they're not expensive. But this is Deadly Departed. Depotted. So let me read the back. Which the back actually looks clean. So it looks like it's a cleaner um, book. This one I have to clean up a little bit. 
This is, all right, Dearly Depotted. It looks like Ambie Knight's cousin Julian is heading for the altar again. And guess which bridesmaid is doing the flowers? Yes, it is, Abby. Law school depor, owner of Bloomers. That's the name of her, uh, flower, her flower shop, Bloomers. And ex, ex fiance to be best man, Abby has her hands full at the wedding, doing triple duty as florist, bridesmaid, and grandma sitter, all while wearing a floral print to make her look like a clown. But the real trouble starts when the groomsman, 90-year-old grandma, disappears while hunting for her, Abby discovers the body of Jack's Snyder, yeah, Jack Snyder, one of the guests behind the minister platform is the gazebo. When her assistant new boyfriend becomes a suspect, Abby's, Abby decides she'd be better find out, oh, she better find out who killed Jack in the pulpit. I read that better than the other one, but so I'm interested in reading these. So I'm gonna, I am gonna start reading Mom's the Word. Um, honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna start reading it. I want to start reading it soon because I've been stuck on this. Uh, if you guys ever heard of it, it's an app. It's called Episode. Episode. It's like teenage stories, you know, stuff like that. I like reading it. You know, I do. I lay in bed at night and I read that in the dark. So that I'm still gonna be doing, but I got time on my hands. I will be finding uh, ways to read this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you are interested in what you want me to do about these stories. I could do, read a chapter to myself, which I'm not going to read out loud on here. No way. I'll read a chapter. If you guys are interested in me doing that, I will do it. Um, but, I will let you know if a chapter stops and I'm a curious, I will keep reading. So, I might just end up like, say, I read three chapters tonight, right? I will come on video tomorrow and talk about those three chapters. If you are interested in that, fine with me. And I can tell you about my thoughts about that. Let me know in the comments below. Please comment so I can know. Because if nobody ain't going to comment, I'm not going to do this. I will just, after I'm done reading, then I will discuss about the book. If you guys want to like it like that, that's fine. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. See you later. Bye.